Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week we have a really fun and different video for you guys. You guys have been requesting it all over Snapchat, so I'm here finally filming this video. I had all week to prepare for this video, so I really hope that this video helps someone else out there. Because I know when you're starting off being a makeup artist, it's such an overwhelming industry. Like, where do you start? What do you carry in your kit? How do you carry a kit? What do you carry it in? So hopefully today's video will help you guys out. I'll make sure to put a link down below on part one of this series because it's all about how I became a makeup artist and my tips and tricks on becoming a makeup artist in this crazy industry. This week we're going to be going on to part two of how I store my makeup kit, what I carry my makeup kit in, the products I recommend for you guys. I really hope this video helps someone else out there because I know how hard it can get when you first start off as a makeup artist. So if you want to see how I carry my makeup kit, please keep watching. Hey guys, so I'm just going to quickly show you how I carry my makeup kit around. I live in London, so I have to go on the tube, on the trains every single day. So I need something that's going to be really, really sturdy and don't break when I knock it on the train and stuff like that. I'd really recommend for makeup artists to use more of a suitcase rather than those big, heavy metal cases. Because a lot of people, when they start off, they think, oh, to get one of those beauty kind of cases that you get from Sally's. But... Don't get that guys, don't even waste your money because A, they're so expensive and you won't be able to carry a lot of products in there and B, the metal case itself is so heavy so it's not a good thing to start off with a heavy product because when you put more stuff in it's going to get even heavier so you want to try to find something that's quite lightweight already. A lot of makeup artists actually use Zookas. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. I'll, I'll insert a picture here of what it looks like. I used to have one before, but I found that it was really small and I wasn't able to open it up fully and see exactly what was inside and get to things really quickly. You also have to be so careful when you're carrying a Zooka around because a lot of people carry Zookas and it's not that hard to notice like a makeup artist with a Zooka and know exactly what's inside. It's quite risky because you're carrying around thousands of pounds worth of product. I ended up ditching that and just went for a normal suitcase. I try to avoid anything that says like MAC or like Inglot in there and that's exactly what you don't want. You don't want to advertise that you're carrying makeup around in there. If you turn your head around someone will just take that and that's all your money gone and that's your career gone basically. So you need to be really really careful about where you leave your kit, especially on the train as well in London. Like when I travelled up to Manchester, your, your luggage is just left on the side. Sometimes you'll see it's all the way on the other side of the carriage as well which is so scary leaving your makeup kit there you know so you never know someone can just take your kit when you're not looking make sure you are careful of your kit and don't advertise it too much you just want it to look like a normal suitcase don't go for anything too fancy but for me personally i do a very extensive variety of different types of makeup so i actually carry two cases with me you definitely do not need to start with two cases one suitcase would just be enough so don't be crazy like me and start off carrying two bags because you'll end up breaking your back eventually over time when you build your makeup kit you'll see what you really like to have in your kit and what you don't really need i'm going to show you both of the kits because this is what i take on a job that i don't know what i'm doing so you always want to be prepared especially as a makeup artist you don't want to turn up and not have that type of foundation or not have that kind of eyeshadows. I would recommend you make sure you shop around for different types of suitcases and don't go for the cheapest option because it might end up breaking on you. That would be the worst if you have to lift your case every single place that you go. The reason why I like this Calvin Klein one is because it actually has eight wheels rather than just four wheels. TK Maxx is the best place, or if you're in America, it's called TJ Maxx, I think. But it's just basically a store that has all designer kind of products, but it's on a discounted price. I got this for around £70 in the UK, and it's lasted me for ages. It's super, super sturdy. It's, it wields really, really nicely, super smoothly. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on it. And I would recommend, definitely, if you can, look for one that has eight wheels in total. So just two wheels at each point, which is why I chose it in particular, because I know that it will glide really really smoothly especially when there's heavy stuff in it so the next bag that i carry is actually from the brand zucker earlier i was talking about the zucker trolleys this is a zucker backpack they do different types of zuckers but this is really really handy if i'm only going to do one or two clients that i know exactly the products that i need i actually don't do it that rarely because i normally carry everything with me just in case they ask but if you don't want to be crazy like me and carry everything, you can just pack everything into this backpack and literally just wear it on your back. It's got super, super 
padding here so you don't literally like break your back while you're wearing it um, and it's got padding here as well that supports your back it literally just clips around the handle like this and then it wheels along with your trolley so you don't have to wear it as a backpack you can also clip it on top of your suitcase as well which I find really handy I know it's so expensive it's about £100 but if you're doing makeup full time, I find a backpack is really good because I could just put it on my back and then I could wheel the other one. Because sometimes if you put another type of bag on top of your suitcase, when you go up and down stairs, you can't pick up the handle. In London, it's really annoying because we have so many stairs. So if you have a bag that you can't take on and off really easily, it's so annoying because you need to be able to access the handle really quickly. It's got a really sturdy handle here, so you can just carry it like this on your back or obviously on your suitcase as well. The cool thing about this, if you do hair and makeup, this side has a heat proof pouch in here so you can put your hot hair straighteners in there and it won't burn through the material so if you're on a job and you want to quickly get on out of there you just unplug your hair straighteners and just put it into that heat proof pouch in there and your bag won't set alight also I really like there's two separate pouches here so I could put things like eyelashes or my phone or anything in here that I could quickly access and then inside I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Alright guys so I just want to quickly show you what it looks like when I'm wheeling it around so this just sits on top of this really really nicely and it's all clipped on at the back and I just literally use the handle at the top and I just wheel it around. Okay guys I'm going to go through both of my luggages and show you exactly how I store everything inside of my makeup kit. This video is going to be quite long because I have two cases to go through so make sure you go grab a snack or something so you can watch along so when I unveil everything you can see everything is nice and neatly packed I have everything in their own separate bag this is because I want to ensure that I know exactly where my products are at all times I know this is my skincare bag this is my foundation bag I want to know exactly what is inside each and every single bag so that I know I need to grab this it's in that bag so this also really helps if you ever have an assistant as well you can tell them it's in that big black bag from Muji blah 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 so inside this section here is where I carry all my hygiene products it has all the stuff from my tissues wet wipes to cotton pads I carry things like scrubbing wipes body oil shimmer oil so it's really good for like shoots and stuff I'll show you this which is really cool I got this at IMAX this is a lifesaver guys I got this for one pound at IMAX I got it from the Royal Atlantic stand I, I don't know if it's on the website but if I find it I'll link it in the description bar but basically it's a little bin so you literally just pop it open and then you can throw all your old tissues cotton pads you know anything that you don't want anymore you just throw it in here because sometimes you're at a job and there's no accessible bin so this is really nice at the end of the day you can just toss it out and then flatten it back up and then put it back into your kit so this pouch here i got at Kiko I really like it because it's so good to carry beauty blenders and powder puffs especially if you just wash your powder puffs or if you just use your beauty blender and it's damp you want to make sure you use a bag like this that is breathable so this is made out of mesh because if you put your wet sponges inside a bag and leave it inside it's going to grow mold because it's in the dark so you want to make sure you leave it in something like this that is breathable so that it doesn't build all like mold and everything in there and that's not cute so this is from Kiko it comes in a set of three so I have things like tissues this is my box of tissues cotton pads very essential to cleanse people's skin so I have these wipes these are just MAC wipes um, you can use any brand of wipes you can use boots or simple um, I would also recommend actually to put some baby wipes inside of your bag as well because sometimes you just want to like clean your hands and stuff you don't want to waste your nice wipe you know so I would recommend to put some baby wipes in but I finished all my baby wipes so I need to go grab some more of that this guys is amazing if you're a makeup artist you should definitely invest in these little wipes they're called scrub and peel wipes and they're literally a lifesaver you know when you have models or clients that have like really flaky skin on their nose or on their lips especially this wipe contain AHAs which is like an exfoliant and the actual texture of the wipes is like scrubby so it's really good to scrub around like the nostrils and for your lips if you've got any dead skin on your lips so I also carry a mirror with me as well this is really important when you have clients especially if you ever work with like celebrity clients or anything like that they always want a mirror to see exactly what you're doing I also find using a mirror throughout with your client is a lot easier than at the end asking them to look in a mirror because they might just be really shocked so especially when you do things like eyeliner people are so particular about eyeliner and brows you can literally just give them the mirror and say is that liner thick enough for you is your brows okay so that they kind of see the process as it goes along rather than at the end they can be really shocked sometimes and then you just wasted all your effort you know so this is just a cheap mirror it's from Poundland it used to have a handle and now it's broken 
And then last but not least, I carry a body oil with me. I also have a body cream somewhere in this kit. I'll find it later on. But this is amazing for shoots. This is from NARS. If you ever do shoots and you want their skin to look really nice and glowy, this is amazing to use. Back here is from Muji. This is where I carry all my skincare in. They also have a smaller one, a medium. This is the large. They also have an extra large, but that's a bit too big. The large I really like because a lot of skincare, the bottles are really tall and it's so hard to find a bag that can carry tall, you know, serum bottles or moisturisers and stuff. And this is nice because it's sturdy as well. It doesn't like kind of move around. It's got kind of like a shape to it. So it's really nice because you can shove it full, but it won't expand too much. And that's really hard. When you have bags that kind of expand a lot, you're going to find it hard to repack your kit at the end of the day. So bags like this that have like a structure to it will help you with your organisation and repacking your kit. So basically it has this thing here, you just pop it in and that just keeps the flap open so you can access things really easily. I have straws up here, they're from McDonald's. Um, it's really important actually to find proper straws. You want to get straws that are individually wrapped, that way they're all really hygienic and you don't get like a piece of dust or like powder inside your straws because that's not cute. But straws are really important to have in your kit by the way guys because if you ever do any like clients, any models and they're kind of drinking and you just done their lips it's like such a pain in the ass. So you want to make sure you have your straws so before they have their drink you literally be like here take a straw so that they can just literally like rather than gulp all their lipstick down their throat. <laughs> okay so I'll just show you what I have inside of my skincare bag. As you can see it's packed full of all different types of skincare. At first, I don't think you need all of this. You can just start off with like a good moisturiser, a good primer for oily and dry skin, and a good makeup cleanser as well. I'm not going to show you everything that I have in here, but I'm going to show you the products that I would really recommend to have in your kit. Okay, so the first product I'm going to show you, sorry, it's so bright, I'm going to have to try to hold my hand here so it doesn't get too bright for you guys. This is from Embryo Lease. It's really popular because even the most sensitive skin can use this product and it won't kind of affect anyone with rosacea or like skin problems or anything like that. It's quite like a thick cream that has a lot of uh, emollients in it so it's good for people with like dry flakes or anything like that and it doesn't look too shiny on the skin as well. I like to use this on a lot of models because as soon as they see this they know the brand because it's such a well-known brand. Um, I actually purchased this from Paris. I've also seen this in Selfridges and Beauty Mart as well. If you just google Embryo Lease, it's called Le Cream Concentrate bit of French in there and it's from the brand Embryo Lease but I would highly recommend anyone that's looking for a day-to-day -day moisturizer is a good one to go for. So the next product is called Bioderma. I actually decanted this into a smaller uh, bottle. For, this is from Muji this bottle because the big Bioderma is so big and chunky and I can't fit into my makeup kit but I use this so often and the bottle's really nice because I just squeeze it all out but Bioderma is such an amazing product because it literally just feels like water on the skin but it takes off all the makeup, all foundation and then your skin doesn't feel tight and dry afterwards. I don't know any makeup artist that doesn't have this in their kit. I'm going to show you this little stack of lip balms that I have here. It's all different types of lip balms. I've got like creme de la mer in here. I've got the Nooks one, I've got 8 hour cream from Elizabeth Arden and I just decanted it in here rather than having tubes that are squeezy. I can literally just like see what one. I should have labelled every single one but I can't remember every one in my head. The one I use the most is this top one here. It's called Homoplasmine I think. I highly recommend to get a good lip balm to put in your kit. Next I have this product here. This is from Urban Decay and it's their travel size D slick setting spray. You guys need to have a setting spray in your kit because this is going to ensure that the makeup lasts especially if you do weddings, proms, anything like that. Most of the times you want your makeup to last anyway so you want to set the makeup with a setting spray. I like D Slick from Urban Decay because I feel like it kind of controls oil as well as make the makeup last longer. I have the big size one that I just refill every single time this is finished so make sure to have a setting spray inside of your kit guys. Okay, so next I'm going to talk about all my favourite primers. I carry so many other different primers in there, but these are my top go-to primers. This is one you guys know I love. It's called the Skin Refined Zone, and it's amazing for anyone with pores or oily ass skin. This is not a primer that you'd use everywhere like a normal primer. You'd 
only use this primer in the places where you get oily because otherwise your makeup will look very very cakey so you want to use a small amount just where they get shiny and then you put your foundation on top sometimes I even pair this with another primer as well so that it's not just matte in the center and then nothing else anywhere else but products also really really good for men do you know sometimes you don't want to put powder on them because you don't want them to look too flat this just automatically just takes down the shine and controls their shine throughout the day as well so skin refined zone for Mac a must-have in your kit so next I'm going to talk about these two products they're both from Illamasqua and one is their matte primer and one is their satin primer the Illamasqua satin primer is amazing because it gives the skin a really nice glow it makes the foundation glide on super super smooth amazing for anyone with drier dehydrated skin the other primer I like to use for oilier skin is the matte primer I don't know if you can see but it's nearly empty but I use this so often because literally it just mattifies the skin but it doesn't make the skin look dry and cakey sometimes like the skin refined zone can do if you're a makeup artist you can also sign up for the inner mask 40% off and last but not least you guys need to make sure you have something to fill in pores or if anyone has that like, acne scarring I use the benefit professional I've also used it before when I put foundation on people and you can literally see like the dents inside their nose that like, sometimes they have like one little spot I literally just get a little bit of this and just plonk it on in there and it just smooths all out okay guys I just zoomed in a bit more so that you guys can see the actual product hopefully this helps the next product I'm going to talk about that's very important to carry inside your kit as a makeup artist is shavers these are from hotels when they give the free shavers I always take them and I ask for more every single day so I can nick them for my kit it has a shaving gel already inside and then your actual razor so this is really good for like men in particular because sometimes if you're on a shoot and then the stylist doesn't want them to have like their moustache or their stubble you literally just give them this and then they can do it themselves all right guys i think that's it for skincare we've gone on long enough i'm sure next part i'm gonna do is my big whopper mama bag this is probably the most heaviest bag of all this bag is very expensive. It's from MAC. It's, I think it retails for about £100 or something like that. Also with MAC, you can apply for their 35% discount if you can prove that you're a working makeup artist. You just need to go online onto the MAC Pro website and just sign up. And all you need to do is just submit two things that prove that you're a working makeup artist. And you can get 35% off. So inside this makeup bag here, I literally have all of my foundations that I carry around with me. As you can see, I have my concealers in here, all of my foundations. I carry loads of different types of foundation and I don't carry just one brand. That is a mistake a lot of people do. They just go to one brand and then they just buy like all of their foundations. But no, 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 no. You need to make sure you have a varied kit, guys. You don't want to have a kit they open it up and all there is just MAC or all there is is just NARS because it makes you look more like a novice I, th I personally feel like you want to be able to show clients that you're really experienced with different brands this is something you slowly kind of build up in your kit I wouldn't recommend just to go in and buy all of the foundations in all the shades because you definitely won't be using them and they'll probably just end up going off and you end up throwing them away and wasting your money so I'm going to show you the products I recommend to kind of invest your money in here I have a bit of Too Faced Born This Way I have the Makeup Forever HD sticks I have the Cover FX Oil Free Foundation. I've got MAC Face and Body. I've also got Max Fix Fluid that I decanted into these small little jars here. These are also from Muji. As you can tell, I love Muji. And this video is not sponsored by Muji. But if you are watching Muji, I love your product. So this is one of the foundations that I use the most. It's from Cover FX. And it's called the Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation. And I have this in about five different shades. So I have like a light one, like a couple of medium ones, and like a dark one. And I just mix the shades together. It gives like a medium to full coverage. But it doesn't look heavy or cakey on the skin it looks amazing in photographs as well um, if you want anything that doesn't give flashback this doesn't contain any SPF in there and it's really nice because it's in a tube as well it doesn't take up a lot of space in your makeup kit a tip that I'll give you guys when buying foundations is to invest more in the yellow shades rather than like the more pinky shades because you'll find that more people will suit the yellow kind of undertones unless you kind of go for someone really really fair then you probably need something that has a bit more of a peach undertone but most of the time a lot of people are more yellow undertoned that's why you find brands like bobby brown that only do yellow undertones because they believe that everyone suits yellow undertones a lot more and it's a lot more flattering as well in photos i do obviously have more pinky undertones inside my kit 
but just in concealer form so that I can mix it into my foundation or use the concealers as foundation. So that's also another tip guys, if you guys don't want to invest in a big foundation bottle, you can just buy concealers and use them as foundation. I like to do that a lot for the MAC Pro Longwear concealers, I would recommend to get most of the shades in the MAC Pro Longwear concealers because you can use them as foundation, you can dilute them with a bit of moisturiser. I also use my Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer a lot as well, I wish I could actually afford to buy all of the shades in this because this is like freaking you'll never run out of this it's such a heavy duty foundation it's really good for underneath the eyes as well because it just blanks at everything so your under eyes look really nice and bright with my clientele in particular i do a lot of asian clients i do a lot of asian weddings um more kind of skin colors within like the nc42 range from mac so whenever I pick up foundations, I always kind of like to go for those kind of undertones. And then I have my lighter shades so that I can mix and match in between. So next products I have in my kit are the NYX uh, foundation mixers. I have loads of these in my kit. The one I use the most is the olive one. This is such a freaking lifesaver because a lot of times you have foundations that you like but they don't have the right undertone. The olive one in particular gives your skin like that perfect yellow undertone. Really good if anyone goes on holiday and tans and don't want to buy a new foundation. NYX is really affordable. You literally just put a little drop in, mix it up and then it's like a whole new foundation shade. Perfect. I also have a white in my kit as well so if anyone's really really fair I can mix this into a light foundation and make it even lighter. If you're a new makeup artist and you want to look for kind of affordable concealers these are really nice. They're from LA Girl. It's called their Pro Concealer. I would recommend you make sure your foundation and everything is really smooth because if you've got any dry patches this does cling on to it a little bit but it's super nice and affordable and they've got some really nice colours for cream contouring as well. 